please? <coughs> so, I'm attempting to go to work. I got myself in the car, so that's a start. It's probably a stupid idea to go to work, but if it wasn't for the lady that I made the dragons for coming sometime this week, <coughs> um, I probably wouldn't be going. Uh, Tia's coming tomorrow. Oh man, I'm just, I'm supposed to be, we're supposed to go to uh, Vancouver to go to George's sister's wedding this weekend. And I am completely, I'm screwed up. My back is such a mess. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make do today. Like just sitting in the car hurts. So. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. comes to work comes to worse I will put a note on the door at work just saying I'm sorry I can't I just can't get in I put a post out <coughs> but uh, yeah I took a painkiller just to be able to get myself into the car <laughs> and I'll just kind of be sitting and crocheting and not doing much else so <clears throat> excuse me we'll see how it goes yay hi enemies okay so I'm at work and I am dying my pain my back pain is out of control so I called my customers that are supposed to be coming to pick up stuff and uh, I'm let it, I put out a post <sighs> I, do, I can't sit here anymore I'm just waiting for my brother-in-law to get here to drop off a car seat for my daughter <clears throat> and um, we're gonna wait for a customer to show up and then I'm gone I can't do this I gotta go home and lay down I don't know what I was thinking. No, we're going this way. <laughs> hey. Okay, so I'm back to the chiropractor and I started, I'm starting to take things and put them in my other room to get them out of the living room. This was too stupid not to film. Look what I did. So here's a ball. <laughs> Goes all the way over here. Here it goes up over here. That's just in case Bailey pees there. And it goes all the way over here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs>
gonna be so George and I are in North Vancouver we just came back from his sister's wedding and we're locked out of our hotel room mm. good times it's one of those stupid kind of locks the car doesn't work we had the same problem when we got here oh here comes George hold on <laughs> okay now we're in the hotel. <laughs> now the good part happened. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I am broken. No, not a chance. So, yeah, the door just wouldn't open. <laughs> so, yeah, we had a problem with that when we got to the hotel, too. It was, um, I don't know, I think it's either a glitch or the battery. What do you say, the battery? What do you expect for 300 and something dollars a night? I mean, really? Yeah. My God, and this is like a three star motel. Motel. It's, yeah. it's like yeah. a Motel Six. It's it's very bare bones, very utilitarian. Yeah. Can I just use that word after nine o'clock at night? <laughs> utilitarian. <laughs> so. And after how many beers? <laughs> no, not that many. Um, uh, yeah. No beer. So. I could drink a hundred beers. They don't do anything to me. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, good so. wedding. My sister's wedding was really nice. Yeah. You know, it was a lovely ceremony, and she's marrying a really good guy yeah. who actually knows our family and married her anyway ahead of time. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a it's a bit of a love story, kind of. Well. Here we go. They met in 1977. She was 16, and he was 18, and he worked at the Stardust Roller Rink, which was our big handout, hang, handout, hangout. <laughs> Back when we were teeny boppers, back in the day, we used to, every Friday and Saturday night, we would go to the Stardust Roller Rink and sneak our little Mickey of white Bacardi rum in and put it in our Coke and get all drunk up as little teeny boppers and roller skate and smash into the wall and each other and whatever, and nobody died. But that's what we did. They'd play some really kick-ass music, you'd skate around, you'd have fun, you'd meet girls, you'd do the couples only thing. It was our kind of rite of passage when we were teenagers, so she was a young... 16 year old and he was 18 where he worked there and they started dating and then life became, you know he went off to university she went some other direction he married somebody and was married to her for 32 years and she died of cancer about five years ago and then he somehow found my sister on facebook and said hey i remember you from back in the day and they started dating and now they're married so it's really really nice my sister has been alone for almost 30 years so it's nice to see them get back get back together, and I think they're going to be really happy. Yeah, yeah, so, it's nice. You know, we've got the family together. My mom got to come, which we weren't sure mm. that was going to happen. Mom's yeah. at the point now where she needs 24-hour nursing care. We had to put her into a full, full long-term care home where she's got full care. And uh, but they got her there in the wheelchair um, taxi. We hired a care aid for the night to take care of her. Her care aid was really and get her nice. home. She's, she's a sweet young girl that's yeah. any disillusion from her career forever. I didn't know. Because she told her she has no faith in the medical system and just <laughs> crushed the dreams of this poor nineteen-year-old girl. Oops. And uh, yeah. So <laughs> after I just finished telling her to go for her RN. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> she but, felt obviously really awkward because she doesn't know she anybody did. and she was working. We tried yeah. to get her to. A drink of pop. She didn't want it. She wouldn't eat. Wouldn't yeah. eat dinner. And we yeah. finally talked her into getting some dessert. And uh, yeah, well, I, I and, practically and forced. She her. had a pop, and then she kind of <laughs> loosened up a little bit. And yeah, Sandy started talking to her, and then pissed all over her dreams. So she I did. <laughs> <laughs> discouraged her career choices. Oh no! But, uh, oh my god! No, it was good. It was good to get over. It's good that we did it, and you know, yeah. get the family together. We got to see my brother and his family, and. Yeah. My sister and her family, and my sister that got married. So, yeah. his yeah. his brother was in fine form. Yeah, oh I think God. he was drinking. Something. I don't know yeah. what. No, he was D, he was the DD, but he, he's he's <laughs> normally know. quite shy and doesn't really talk much to people. But he's tonight not he like was George. very yeah. animated, full of stories. Oh and yeah, he was just just like I'm going. What? Did you smoke something? Or what he, the lives, hell? he lives in a farm out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. When you look up the middle of nowhere in a dictionary, you see his place. He's out in <laughs> in Alberta, way out in the country, and he's surrounded by hundreds of acres of canola fields. And then in the middle of this acre, this massive industrial acreage is his little farm of about five or six acres, his little postage stamp inside this massive 
compound of canola wheat that nobody can find. So yeah, and, uh, they've never don't have any neighbors within like twenty miles. So it's not hasn't seen people in a while, I guess. Yeah. So there was. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, the first thing he did was he, oh. when he gave me a hug, is he, you know, gave me a big bear hug, and then he goes, squish, squish, squish. Oh, you got bubbles. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> I'm going, mm, okay, awkward. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you've seen me before. You know that I got a big chest. Like, what the hell? <laughs> it was, oh, it was funny. I mean, it was awkward but it was <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm thinking hmm, brothers are just alike <laughs> mm -hmm. so anyway so now we're yeah. at that whole getting ready to fall asleep for the night get up jump Ooh. the ferry and mm -hmm. back yeah. home because we have left he and axel at home yeah but i have my crochet right here of course so, you know so my back is killing and me back to work again monday and oh. we'll have to go so yeah I just, I couldn't sit there any longer. My back hurt too bad. I was kind of petering out. We were, a lot of people had already left, which was sad because the band had started playing and they actually were not too terrible. But then you get the crazy, bad, white, <laughs> drunken white woman dancing thing going on. And oh, yeah. It was 20 women dancing and one guy, kind of thing, <laughs> the usual. So. And usually George is that one guy, but not tonight. Mm. He just, I kept telling him, go dance, go, you know, no. I danced for a couple of songs, but I felt bad. Sandy's sitting there all wounded and broken. Which is weird because whenever we go to a function, which isn't very often, I don't dance. I don't go up and dance. He, so he goes up and dances all the time. I don't know what why this was different. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because his family was there. He didn't want to look like an asshole or something. I, oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> edit, edit. <laughs> <laughs> Swear jar. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know. He just did, he wasn't in his usual self, so I was a little disappointed. I kind of like watching him do the shimmy shake. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I would have known that. <laughs> well, oh, well, it was fun. I mean, part of it is disheartening because my mom is really is really getting quite debilitated and really showing her years, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to see your parents like that. So, yeah. you know, so when we the. Um, we waited for her. And the other thing is she was late to get there. They were caught in traffic, so they had to delay yeah. the actual ceremony until she got there because we didn't want her to miss it. And yeah. So she finally got there, and we went out and got her out of the taxi, and I wheeled her in, and we got set up, and away we went. So it was a really nice ceremony. They kind of wrote their own vows, which was really nice, and it was, uh, wasn't, yeah. wasn't too, uh, too preachy, too religious, just pretty straightforward. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was, and the food was okay. It was buffet style, but it was wedding food. It, it well, it was, it it was your chicken, your beef, your yeah. The prawns were, were pretty you good. Know, pilaf, rice, rice potato, Greek yeah. salad. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, it was okay. So we're gonna relax now and wait for my painkillers to kick in and. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Maybe get sleep tomorrow. Maybe not get up at four o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Okay. We're gonna go. Okay. Okay. Thanks. See ya.